Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is a bit of data. This is Hearts of Iron 4, hungry for communism, and indeed we are still hungry for communism, even though we've now got the nice little hammer and sickle on our flag of, uh, of Hungary, which is nice. We've got a brand new leader. We've still got this silly, silly, silly Treaty of Trianon nonsense which uh, I still don't know how to get rid of, so we're still working on that. Uh, we're currently inviting foreign investors, which is a little bit a little bit strange considering we're a communist country now, uh, but we do plan to build a bunch more um, uh, steel production, which is really, really nice. We want to also expand the aluminium industry, and then eventually we want to get a, another research slot. After that, we're going to be looking to join the Comintern, but of course we need 50% support of the political party in order to do that, and we are getting there. It's just... Um, it's just slow progress, and obviously as the party gets more and more uh, support, as the Communist Party gets more and more support, uh, you see, you know, the effects are less and less. So already at this popularity, effects are scaled to 33%. That's down from 50%, uh, and that's obviously down from 100%. So it's 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 slow going, but it is, it is honest work. We are approaching soon-ish I would uh, I would say the bit where they t where Germany takes over uh, a bunch of northern Czechoslovakia democratic bastion oh, what, a, what an idiot what an idiot what an idiot why would you oh, why would you not go left why is no one why is no why is nobody why is nobody going communist are you going communist you're not even going communist that's so lame You've got to deal with the devil. I want I want you to get basing rights, though. I honestly want Romania to be on my side. Hungarian People's Republic. <laughs> I love it. 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 Um, ask to join faction. Should we ask to join the faction? I mean, kind of no, because I don't really want to uh, go to war with Germany quite yet. I don't feel that I'm ready to do just that. Although... Since the Soviet Union is actually at war with Germany, then that's interesting, I suppose. Stage a coup? No, we can boost party popularity. Let's boost party party popularity. Communist in uh, in that country there. We're already boosting it in Romania, so I imagine that yeah, Romania should be the biggest contingent fairly soon. Fascist is just a little bit bigger at the moment, and democracy is just a slight bit bigger. Uh, let's get some brand new research. Uh, let's. Yeah, let's actually just continue on with a bunch of um, a bunch of doctrine planning, a bunch of doctrine planning, a planning, a bunch of doctrine research, should I say? Uh, we are going to need more troops, but we can't do a damned thing until we actually have uh, some recruitable population. If we have a little look at this, uh, our current manpower is sixty-three percent across the uh, across all of the divisions. Yeah, there's, there's, there's not even, we're not even close, really. We're not even close. We've invited foreign investors, though. The Pax Americana. Oh, lovely. Lovely, 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 indeed. I mean, I don't really care, but it's something. Let's get steel so we can start using all of our military factories properly. Uh, because currently, we're only using five. And we could be using six, but we just don't have the resources for for that quite yet. We can't create a variant. Interesting, you can't actually create a variant of the first tier of inventory equipment. Can't create a variant of that, can't create a variant of that, can't create a variant of bloody anything, can you? Doesn't particularly matter, it doesn't particularly matter, it's uh, it's absolutely fine. Um, factory output, this doesn't actually show factory uh, construction speed. Does that perhaps show up in construction, I would say? Yeah, maybe. But factory construction speed is actually remarkably... You know, I'm thinking that we should actually just cancel this, because factory construction speed is actually modified by the Treaty of Trianon. Military factory construction speed is just minus 50%. And quite frankly, I, I don't really want to waste all of my valuable resources on this. What is this? Uh, the Anulsia... And the German soldiers were greeted with cheering crowds. So they've taken over Austria. Okay, that's a thing that happened. That's definitely something that happened. How long is it going to take us to build this? We're going to finish on the 27th of April. Wow, that's actually remarkably quite quite soon. Um, w w mm. We need a significant amount of land forts on this border here. 
That's not even an exaggeration. Prioritize all of these right now, please. Yeah. I really, really want to get the uh, border with Germany secured. At least you're not going... At least you're joining the Allies, right? Like, I don't I don't really mind if you join the Allies, because I'm probably not going to go to war with the Allies in this game. Yeah, you're democratic. You're quite communist as well. Could stage a communist coup. That would be quite nice, actually. I'm going to start uh, staging a communist coup, because that's something that I would like to see happen. Um... Is it something that I really want to see happen? Not really, but it is kind of funny to think that it, it could happen. Uh, let's bump up production of that. Yes, I know we're going to have resource shortages. Don't really care. Low manpower. Again, there's nothing that I can bloom and do about this low manpower situation. It's just a, a problem that is just around forever, really. It's just constantly, constantly, constantly there. Uh, let's go back into production. Uh, not that one. Construction, I meant. And let's have a little look and see how these, this land fort is coming along. It's going to take a fair while to build all four levels. We're just starting with four levels, though, because I feel that that's probably... You know, it's small enough that it'll, it'll, it'll be good, but it's also... But it's also... Four levels is enough to be, you know, a minus 60% attack penalty. So that's quite nice I feel so let's go for four levels of fort and then we can look at something else perhaps but honestly quite happy with the way that things are shaping up here we didn't manage to build any forts in this region but I'm actually okay with that because we are we are working on you know cooing these chat not cooing these chaps but uh, you know improving their quality of life and by improving their quality of life I mean making them communist um, Yeah, I think a coup is the is the right is the right thing to do. I I don't really want to. Mm, sure, I'll spend all of, I'll spend political power. Now I am actually going to start decreasing the amount of political power that I have. I'm going to stop doing it in Poland. I'm going to stop. Yeah, I'm going to stop cooing in in. Uh, I'm not cooing. Boosting party popularity. I'm going to stop it in Poland. I'm going to do it in France because it's really, really important that I... I think that it's really, really important if we can get a... Um, if we can get a French nation out of it, it would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I doubt that it'll actually happen, but... You know, it is what it is. Is there any chance that you stop being fascist and start being... Communist? I don't even know if you have a communist route, do you? Claims on France, war with Greece, befriend, befriend Greece. You you actually don't. You actually totally don't. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Let's select some more research and let's do it. Uh, radar stations. I, I, I do care, but I just don't care that much. Uh, military police. I'm not probably going to be conquering much territory. I say that. I probably will be, but... I'm not going to be conquering uh, territory purposefully. Well, I'm going to do it with a purpose. I'm just probably, you know, I kind of want to, you know, maybe maybe take back the old territory. Austro-Hungary would be kind of nice. Czechoslovakia is probably going to end up uh, being caught in the crossfire. Um, if I was able to get a non-aggression pact with you, improve relations perhaps? I mean, I could justify a war goal against you, but I really don't want to do that. I wouldn't mind justifying a war goal against Czechoslovakia. I also wouldn't mind staging a coup here and um, and cooing this place and then just going to war against... You know what? I honestly think that's a better idea. Let's, let's stage a coup over there. Um... Let's try and continue on all fronts as long as we can. But I am, I am, I am actually going to justify a war goal against them as well. Southern Slovakia. 110 days. I don't particularly want... Maybe we could just take it back now, actually. 
Maybe we could just take it back now, you know? Take the claimed state of Southern Slovakia. The only reason that I suggest doing this is because it gives us a lot of resources. Like, that would that would keep us going for a good wee while. And that's, that's sort of like the appeal of going for it, right? I imagine that we're probably on the similar page militarily. Maybe that's a little bit presumptuous, but I don't think it's unfair to say. Um, conversion speed bonus. I'll get this. 132 days. We are a little bit overdue, but because of that 50% bonus, it doesn't make it too ridiculous. So we'll take that uh, now, actually. Also, I want to add to recruiting and deploying. I want to add an engineering company, but that's going to cost us 10 little stars. 10 little experience points. That's a little bit troublesome because I was hoping that it would be less costly than that. I thought it would be 5, but apparently I can't remember how, uh, how it works. So we're just going to have to wait a little bit longer. There's no real rush, uh, and also we have no manpower, so it's completely worthless to, to, to think about anyway, so... So there you go. Um, expand the steelworks. That's going very, very well. Um, do we want to expand the aluminium industry? Do I really care about the fucking aluminium industry? I don't, I don't really know if I do. It's something that we need to get in order to get the uh, extra research slot, which I'll tell you, I really, 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 really want. But, I just don't know if I care about it. I do not know if I care about it. Let's hold off on getting this for a little bit. I want to try and build up a little bit of... Oh, here we go. Germany declared war on Czechoslovakia. That's good. And now Czechoslovakia is, uh, is allied. So we can't actually attack. Well, we wouldn't have been able to justify the claim um, anyway. So there's no... No reason to, no reason to feel bad about that. If we'd have started earlier, then yeah, maybe it would have, but uh, maybe it would have worked. But in all honesty, we, kill, we still can go for it. But uh, no real desire to be dragged into uh, a major, major war. I mean, Czechoslovakia is going to get screwed anyway. We just need to make sure that we have the appropriate stuff on the border, the appropriate forts on the border. We've already finished one fort, which is lovely, uh, and it looks like we're going to be finishing up a second in a wee while, but not not too soon, not too soon. Uh, oh, actually, I never thought that if Czechoslovakia actually advances, I never actually thought what that would do. Vienna, of course, the classic uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire, classically claimed by Austria, indeed. Um, I don't really know if we could liberate Austria. We could probably liberate Austria in the peace treaty, but I'm not that bothered about. Uh, I'm not that bothered about it, to be honest. I mean, I stand with my with my communist friends in the east, rather than you know the the old Austro-Hungarian Empire of the past. But I I. I shouldn't imagine that this will be a very particularly long conflict. Not for Czechoslovakia, anyway. No, I, th I think not. It'll it'll probably be over quite quickly. But we need to just make sure that we keep an eye on uh, on on Yugoslavia because these are these are the boys that are. Well, I just I wish someone went for some sort of like a Soviet thing. Join the Axis or join the Allies. You could have just. Join, look at look at how lovely these all look. Reorganize the Soviet Union, join the Comintern, research collaborate. They look all so lovely, but no, just no. It's unfortunate, but it's it's life, I suppose. All right, let's pick another national focus. Um, we can't get the Hungarian thingy. Is it is it if we join the war? Is that is that what it'll? I, I reckon if we join the war, it'll get rid of the Treaty of Tryon. And I'm sort of holding off until the last possible opportunity, but I feel that we are actually going to get pulled in relatively soon. When are we reaching that ten army experience points? Must be kind of soon. Yeah, I have a funny feeling we're going to get pulled into a war relatively soon. So let me just check. None of my neighbors are in alliances with anyone. I mean, the Soviet Union is, of course. But 
nobody else. Okay, let's deploy the front line. Let's deploy to the front line then. Even though it's going to be an incredibly costly battle. Um, should we actually end up in battle? Luxembourg joined the Allies. Okay, that's fine. Ask to join faction. Different ideology. Yeah, that, that's a no. An invite to faction request from the Soviet Union. Wait a second. What is the stuff that I need for joining the Comintern? More than 50% support for the KMP. I mean, I can just accept now. I can just accept now. But this will also mean that I think I'm at war with Germany. And a bunch, uh, and Italy. I'll do it. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um. Yeah. Which means that we now can no longer join the Comintern. Because we're already a member. I don't actually want to push into Germany. But I do want to make sure that all of my troops are stationed in the appropriate location. Oh, I'm not actually at war with Germany right now. Can I decline this? If I decline this, what happens? I'm going to accept, obviously. Treaty of Trianon has been removed. Perfect. That's grand. That's really, really good. No aggression pact for France. I will accept that. Um, I am still cooing them, though, so... Any <laughs> jokes on you, chaps? We're a third of the way towards cooing. Non-aggression pact, sure. Non-aggression pact. Non-aggression pact. Non-aggression pact. That works for me. Now the Treaty of Trianon. Now the treat. Now that the Treaty of Trianon has actually been removed, will that have a remarkable difference? I think it should. It'll also mean that we can actually use some of our political power that we've got saved up. Oh wait, jokes on jokes on everyone. We've got we've got none. We're gonna move up to volunteer only. Um, and then we're going to move up to limited conscription. And then we're going to move up to extensive conscription. And then we're probably going to move up to... Um... Well, actually, we're probably just going to stick at limited conscription for uh, for a good wee while, I would think. But at least now we've got the opportunity from to actually progress from disarmed nation, which is, let's be honest, just absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, I don't really want to run any air operations right now. I mean, I've got a lot of planes. I've even got some bombers, which is kind of nice. But I just don't want to do it because this this air region I imagine is going to be is going to be awful. Actually, maybe it's not that bad. I mean, what's what's it like over here? Average enemy mission efficiency. Oh, that's good. Enemy air detection is two percent. Our average air, air efficiency, our air detection. What the hell does this mean? What what does that even mean? What what does that mean? I have no idea. Um, they would take a non-aggression pact. Also, Australia want a non-aggression pact, and New Zealand want a non-aggression pact. That's that's cool. Um, what about you? Are you are you interested in? You're getting modern destroyers. I suppose you've got a coastline. That's cool. We are boosting party popularity over here, but still nothing, nothing as as of yet has happened. Um, when are your next elections? Preserve Greater Romania. Oh, goody. When are your elections, though? Do they say? I don't... Next election, oh, it's 41. Okay, well, we just need to make sure that for 41, these guys are really, you know, really, really communist. <laughs> that's that's it. That's all they need to be. Really, really, really bloody commie. Uh, encryption and decryption. Let's get both of these up. Okay, also 13k manpower. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Total manpower. Um, oh, yeah, this will probably be... 
Oh, wow. Holy cow. We've actually already reinforced all of our existing uh, battalions or whatever. So that's really nice. Non-aggression pact from South Africa. Sure, I'll accept that. Non-aggression pact with the Netherlands. They won't accept a non-aggression pact. Okay. Weird. Brussels will want a non-aggression pact as soon as it joins the Allies. Mark my words. Uh, Poland, you don't want a non-aggression pact. That's fine. Can we sign a non-aggression pact with Italy? No, that's perhaps a little bit presumptuous. Turkey, are you a member of the... You're not a member of anything right now. In fact, you're... No, you're not, you're not a member of, of anything. I feel kind of bad about cooing France now, actually, but... I'll be honest. No, it's fine with me. Maybe this will be... Maybe this will be, like, the, the, the fight that brings down the entire... The entirety of the Allies. Non-aggression pact from, the, uh, from Luxembourg. That's cool. How many troops are actually on this border? It must not be much... Uh, a number of communist delegates from around the world met in Paris today for a founding conference. Lenny Graham has been known as the Ford International Conference. Stalinists responded with growing support for Trotsky and abroad by ordering additional assassinations, increasing propaganda against his old rival. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try an offensive line up to, like, here. And we're going to try and do it. We're actually going to fight into it. And we're going to see if this makes a difference. I don't think that this should be a difficult fight for us. In fact, I rather think it should be a fairly easy one. We're losing over here, but we're not attacking from both angles. Are we moving into this? What are we doing? Oh, interesting. Well, our front line has expanded, that's for sure. Move over there, please, buddy. Just uh, go and capture that one place. And then we'll have a little bit of an extra, a little bit of an extra territorial area. There we go. Simple as that. And we're going to be taking out a little bit more territory. We're at war. We are going to be attacking into the hills, but uh, that's something that I'd... Hmm. Um... Going to decline a non-aggression pact with you. I still want to... I still want to... Uh, I still want to coup them. I still want to finish the coup. And then I want to go to war on the side of the communist side. If that makes sense. Let's finish this little battle and then we'll call it there. Uh, we're going to make a modification to the... Uh, regular inventory. We're going to be adding the engineering company. Uh, now that will probably send everything into a little bit of a a little bit of a we need manpower sort of thing. So we've got that to look forward to. But for that first little offensive into perfect into the territory of the enemy, I would rate our success as fairly large. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get you and then yeah. Wait, how did someone else manage to get in there? It's a bit strange but that's okay. We're back up to full fighting strength. It looks like everyone should have an engineering company right now. There we go. Support equipment uh, and engineering company so we'll be able to dig in and just hold the borders and make sure that um Make sure that there's lots of uh, organization. An entrenched unit, you're moving to friendly territory. Just make sure we're completely protected because we do not want to be caught off guard at all. Yeah. This, this is good. This is good. Max entrenchment will be reached in three days. Perfect. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Auto Potato. This has been Hungary for Communism, and we're actually at war, and we're reclaiming the old Austro-Hungarian Empire, so very, very fun indeed. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!